So tonight, let's go to Italy! Oh, di ba? Ang bongga. Parang nasa contest lang, nasa beauty contest. Because I'm going to prepare a very simple, napakabilis gawin na Italian feast. From appetizer to main dish up to dessert. Ang bongga, di ba? Pero super dali nito, promise. So first, I'm going to start with the dessert. This is a very popular Italian dessert called Panna cotta, ang social pakinggan, di ba? But if you translate it, it means cooked cream. And you will just literally cook the cream with very simple ingredients. So I'm going to start with, I have here one cup of fresh milk. Full cream milk lang. And a cup of heavy cream. You can also use all-purpose cream. Pag wala kang heavy cream. This is sugar. This is gelatin powder. If you don't have gelatin powder, you can always use gulaman. Pero magkaiba po yun, ha? Because gelatin is from the protein and gulaman is a carbohydrate. Personally, mas gusto ko po ang gelatin kasi nakukuha mo talaga yung melt-in-your-mouth feel ng panakota. Pero kung wala, o di ba, wag mas stress. Maging masaya sa kung ano ang meron sa pantry. And this is vanilla paste. You can buy this from baking supply stores. I like using vanilla paste kasi yung kita mo talaga yung beets ng vanilla beans. Before you put it sa iyong apoy, haluin mo muna ng konti na ganyan. And then, salang mo na. Okay. So, lulutuin mo lang yan. You will bring it to a simmer nagpaparamdam na yung aking kaserola dito because I'm going to cook a pasta dish also, a seafood marinara, or pwede mong tawagin, fruity de mare, fruits of the sea, ang sasyal, di ba? <laughs> so, pero napakadali lang po gawin yan. So, magmumultitasking ako. Habang niluluto ko yung panakota, I'm going to salt my uh, boiling water the pasta water. Lagyan mo ng asin generously. And then, the pasta. Okay. If the packaging says, cook for 8 minutes, always cook it minus 2 minutes para hindi uh, nalalabog. Timer. So, lutuin natin yan ng 7 minutes kasi I think the packaging says 9 minutes. So, 7 minutes and then this one, balikan natin. You're going to bring it to a simmer, almost boiling, para malusaw yung sugar and malusaw din yung gelatin. So, the pasta, make sure to stir it occasionally and then just keep on boiling it. Okay? You just simmer. Wag mo na, hindi mo na kailangan tong pakuloan. Simmering is fine, which means pag nakita mong umuusok na siya, okay na yun. Pag kasi pinakuloan natin, minsan humihina yung gelatin. No? And then I'm going to get a strainer. Pag kumulo po ito, sasalain lang natin ito papunta dito sa measuring jug or pag nag-simmer. So, panakota, traditionally, it's really just plain because you want to really savor. You want to feel the natural creaminess, the natural flavor of your cream. Pero kung gusto mong lagyan ng flavor to, nasa sa'yo yan. Pwedeng-pwede, you can put instant coffee powder. You can even make it na parang tropical Asian style coconut cream ang gamitin mo, pwede mong lagyan ng ube powder, di ba? Green tea powder, pwede mong lagyan. Nasa sa'yo yan. But today, since I'm in Italy, plain lang ang gagawin ko and I'm going to put different fruit toppings sa ibabaw mamaya. Sa Italy nga, naalala ko dati, many years ago, so nagpunta ako and kumain ako in a fine dining restaurant in in Bra, Italy. Yung panakota nila, Diyos ko, pagka mahal-mahal, buti pa yung panakota, 
pagkamahal-mahal, di ba? And walang nakalagay na kahit na ano, it's just really the cream. Sabi ko, ano ba naman to, di ba? Ilang euros to? Cream lang, as in ganun, wala man lang strawberry, walang chocolate. Pero alam mo, nang tinikman ko, talagang sabi ko, you know, in life, less is more. Kasi napaka-plain nito, halos walang decoration, pero napakasarap po. So talagang minsan, talagang pag simple lang, mas nangingibabaw yung, yung sarap. So katulad nito, di ba, very basic. And then yan, ibuhos mo. Para lang matanggal mo, ayan o, oh, just in case meron mga konting buo-buong naiwan na gelatin, o oh, yan, matatanggal mo yan. And then this one, while it's still hot, meron ako ditong mga disposable cups. Ang cute, di ba? Nabibili lang po ito sa baking supply store. Kung gusto mo naman i-reuse, eh di i-reuse mo. Pwede ka din naman gumamit ng mga social mong baso. Walang problema. I'm just using this kasi... Based on experience, minsan nasarapan yung bisita mo, di ba? Nasarapan ng kapitbahay mo. Pwede bang i-take home? Eh, alam nga namang ipauwi mo yung baso mo, di ba? O kaya meron kang mga disposable containers na ganito. Yan, buhos mo lang. O, di ba? And then by the time, this will go into the fridge. Pwede mo din i-freezer kung nagmamadali ka. Ayan. Simutin na natin ito. Kung nagmamadali ka, i-freezer mo. ba? Diba? And mga pag-freezer, mga isang oras lang, pag ref, mga 4 hours. So, kung nagmamadali ka, nandiyan dyan na yung bisita mo, i-freezer mo na lang. Ayan, last 15 seconds. Ang exciting naman nito. Saan ko ba nilagay yung tong? Naligpit ko din. 5 seconds! Ayan, timer. Nako, parang alarm clock ko to sa umaga. <laughs> so, patayin na natin. Let's make hango. After seven minutes, ay, teka, masyado ako na-excite. Kumukuha pala ako ng ano, palagi. Always, when I cook pasta, I always get one cup of the pasta water. Para mamaya, meron akong pang dilute. O, yan. Pasta water yan, ha, baka may uminom yan. Pwede nyo din na mainom yan kung gusto nyo, maalat lang. And then, now, let's make hango. Buhos natin dyan sa strainer. Okay. Hindi ko talaga pinaluto yan kasi gusto ko pong gamitin tong aking purple na Le Creuset. Ayan, baliktad natin dyan. And then this one, hanggat hindi mo siya ginagamit, you just leave it here. Kung kailangan mo na siyang gamitin agad, ilagay mo na sa sauce. Pero kung mamaya mo pa siya gagamitin, I suggest hugasan mo muna siyang ganito ng konti to stop the cooking. Pag iniwan mo lang kasi siyang nakaganyan ng mainit, the steam will continuously cook the pasta. Malalabog naman siya. You just want it al dente. O di ba? Ang susosyal ng mga terms. Oh yan. Pag medyo na wala na yung usok, it means Oh, di ba na wala na yung usok? Oh yan. So iiwan na natin yan diyan. I always put it on the side baka kasi may maghugas ng kamay. Okay? So now, iluto na natin yung ating pasta and meron din tayong appetizer. So this pasta is called, pwede mong tawagin seafood pasta, seafood pomodoro pasta, seafood, ano nga ba yun? Marinara. Or ito yung pinakasosyal, spaghetti al frutte del mare, or fruits of the sea. Pinraktis ko po talaga yan, no? So tama siguro yung pronunciation na yan, pero kung mali, my viewers from Italy, ano pa edi i-correct nyo, <laughs> di ba? So first, let's start with the basic ingredients. I have here my seafood. Th these are my mussels. 
I have here shrimps. Meron ako dito ng baby squid. The baby squid is pwede mong ilagay sa pasta and also for the appetizer. And this is shrimps. Then napi na balatan ko lang para ko kung may kakae na ayaw mag peel peel ng hipon. Oh, edi, eto na, di ba? So let's start first by sauteing the onions, garlic, and tomatoes. When buying olive oil, make sure na tignan mo mabuti yung kulay kasi doon magvavary yan kung talagang maganda yung quality ng olive oil nyo. And of course, the best part, oh, may inattendan po talaga akong seminar before sa States buong araw tungkol lang sa olive oil. Kumuha ka ng kutsara and tikman mo. Mmm. You wait for three to five seconds. Kailangan ayan, ayan na, ayan na. Mga tayo ng lalamunan mo. Pagka hindi na ngatay ng lalamunan mo, fake. Okay, so ito hindi siya fake, and I love it. And yun yung kating alam mo parang medicinal, good for you. So I'm going to saute my onions, garlic. Hanggang ngayon po, nangangate. So, maguhain tayo. But, you know, good olive oil is really good for you. Me, I use it for everything. Actually, minsan, alam mo, yung pag nauubusan ako ng lotion, olive oil din ang pinapahid ko sa balat ko. Even if some chefs would tell me, you know, we really don't use olive oil for frying, for sizzling, yung pa din ang ginagamit ko. Kasi, When I smell it, yung parang uh, ang bango-bango. No? And, and my kitchen, nag-iiba talaga yung, yung lasa. So yan, you saute and of course, season with salt, with confidence. <laughs> Nakita mo yun? You season with salt, with confidence. Yung parang hindi ka natatakot. No? You feel free because cooking makes you free. Cooking gives you a lot of confidence. Ayan. So, you season it. Huwag naman practice ka ng practice ng confidence. Umahalat na yung niluluto mo. ba? Diba? So, now I'm going to put uh, oregano. I'm going to get it here. So, this is oregano to give your tomato sauce a really good kick. And kung gusto mong medyo, oh, ito pang pwede mong isang itawag dito, no? Spaghetti seafood al diablo. Papaanghangin mo ng konti. Ang sosyal, di ba? So, pwede natin lagyan to ng konting red pepper flakes. Ayan, red pepper flakes. Kung gusto mong spaghetti, super al diablo, di buusan mo pa ng pepper flakes. Di ba? And then, you put your, this is crushed tomatoes or chopped tomatoes. When I buy chopped tomatoes, I always look at the label. Gusto ko yung galing Italy. Nakalagay po sa likod yung product of Italy. Because, totoo naman po talaga, huwag sanang magtatampo yung ating mga local farmers. Iba talaga yung lasa ng tomatoes coming from Italy. But of course, kung ano yung meron kang on hand, gamitin mo. No problem. And then, you season it with some salt just to balance the... Uh, sorry, sugar. Nalito na tuloy ako. Just to balance the acidity. A little bit of white sugar. That's it. And then I'm going to let it simmer. Isi-simmer ko lang yan. Just simmer it. To bring out all the flavors. Bago natin ilagay yung ating seafood. So you're going to let this simmer for around 10 to 15 minutes just to let all the nice flavors to uh, mellow down. Diba? What a term! Ang romantic naman to mellow down. But while we're simmering this, let's cook the uh, baby calamari. Oh, diba? So to cook the baby calamari, ayan, you just get it. Meron ako dito baby squid and then all-purpose flour. No, you just toss it in all-purpose flour like that. Mamaya ko po siya isi-season 
with salt because I want the natural flavor of the squid. Pero pwede mo din siyang lagyan ng konting salt. Ako, after frying, I, I season it with sea salt. And then, one by one mo siyang ilalagay dito in your hot oil para talagang crispy and hindi bumagsak yung temperature nung mantika. Ayan. So, talagang mamimilansik ng konti. Ay, hindi pala sa konti. Namimilansik sa. <laughs> the struggle is real. But we love struggles. Basta masarap ang ating kakainin. Okay. Keep one hand clean so that if you need to mix, mix, bubuksan ko lang po ito. O, oh, diba? If you need to mix, mix, ito yung social na kalamari. O, oh, diba? You'll see how nice. Oh, very crispy. Alam nyo po, nung first time ko sa Italy, parang in Milan or sa Rome, no? So, nung kumakain na kami sa Italian restaurant, umu-order pala, nakita ko sa menu, ay, ayun! Meron ka ng mares. Kalamares talaga. Kasi diba dito sa atin, kalamares. So pagdating, naghahanap po ako ng sausawan with the soy sauce, onions, and suka. And ako sa Italy po pala, lemon juice lang, sea salt, and konting uh, pepper flakes ang nilalagay. Ay ko, Diyos ko, ganito pala pagkasosyal. ba diba? And wine ang ka-partner. Pero talaga naman ang sarap. Pwede mo din i-partner yan dito sa pomodoro sauce mo or sa marinara sauce. Ayan. Well, of course, if you want the traditional Filipino sauce of soy sauce, onions, and vinegar with sugar, why not? Kung saan ka happy. Ayan. See? How nice. Okay, just let this simmer para yung kanyang flavor is talagang mag, mag mellow down. And then, let's keep on deep frying our calamari. Ang Italian food po, napaka-straightforward. Walang pasikot-sikot, hindi complicated. Sana lahat ng relasyon ganun, di ba? Wala po silang nilalagay na kung ano-ano na ingredients na malilito ka mawawala ka, di ba, confuse ka. They just want fresh ingredients, real, honest ingredients. Kaya sumasarap yung kanilang pagkain. Parang Filipino foods. Di ba, napakasimple, pero may dating. O, di ba, sana all. Okay. Now, alam mo, titikman ko to to check if I need to adjust the seasoning. Okay, tikman mo. So, kukuha ko na isang piraso ang calamari. And then, ilulubog ko dyan. Ay, nahulog. A little bit more salt. Okay, so... The next thing that I'm going to add into my tomato sauce is white wine. So don't worry, hindi ka malalasing dyan. You just want the sweetness, the acidity, the nice flavor no? Na, 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 na galing sa wine. Kung halimbawa tayo, suka, mahilig tayo maglagay ng suka into our dishes para mawala yung umay, mawala yung lansa. In Italian foods, Western cookery, mahilig naman tayo maglag silang maglagay nakikitayo ko. <laughs> mahilig naman sila maglagay ng wine, no? Don't worry. Again, hindi ka po malalasing. And, may mga wines po ako dito, pero wala po akong masyadong, o oh, may masyado, ha? Wala po akong masyadong pinagdadaanan. I just enjoy wine. So, you put your seafood, your shrimp, the mussels. You can use fresh mussels. The mussels that I'm using is blanche, nabili ko sa supermarket. It's pre-cooked, of course. Kung malapit ka sa palengke or kung gagamitin mo right away, you can use fresh mussels. You can even put clams. Kung anong seafood ang type mong ilagay dito, pwede ka din maglagay ng squid. 
Hindi lang ako naglalagay ngayon, just to balance it. And then, more peeled shrimps. Okay, o, oh, wag tayong halo ng halo. Baka madurog. Pwede mong takpan yan until the seafood has been fully cooked. It takes around 2 to 3 minutes only. Do not overcook. Otherwise, your seafood will become rubbery. I have here the pasta water. Yung tinabi nating pasta water kanina. Just in case na masyadong malapot yung iyong sauce. And then of course, dahil malapit na akong makaluto, I am cleaning up. So may calamari is also done. Make sure i you let the the oil drain. And this is the pasta that I boiled earlier. Yung niluto nating pasta. Let's check the seafood. Okay, malapit na. Nag-orange na yung ating shrimps. <clears throat> I'm not going to wait for this to fully cook. Itotos ko na yung pasta ko because I don't want to overcook the seafood. So you put your pasta and you just get a tong. Oh gosh. If you feel like ay masyadong malapot or natutuyot, that's the time na maglagay ka ng pasta water. Yan yung purpose ng pasta water. We are using that because when you boiled the noodles, no, nag-release ng starch yung pasta mo, no? That is the good starch and pag hinalo mo 'yon, yung pasta water mo sa sauce, no? Tumutulong siyang dumikit talaga yung sauce doon sa noodles mo. Oh, 'Di ba? Stick with you ang peg <laughs> ng pasta water. And then I'm going to turn off the flame because I don't want to overcook the seafood as well as the noodles para manatiling al dente. And then I'm going to put my parmesan cheese. Always put the parmesan cheese off flame. Pag pinatay mo na yung apoy because you don't want the cheese to separate. O oh, diba? May mga, may mga technique kung paano hindi mag-separate or para hindi maghiwalay. So, <laughs> di ba? Katulad dito, huwag mong paiinitan yung cheese. Di ba? In life naman, pag masyadong mainit pa ang sitwasyon, huwag ka munang pumunta doon. Iwanan mo muna, magpakul ka muna para hindi nagsiseparate basta-basta. Di ba? Parang keso lang ang buhay. Very, very basic. It's done. And of course, magliligpit-ligpit ako and then, Let's do my favorite part. Tasting para titikman ko na muna ngayon yan. Just in case, I need to put kung ano-ano pang mga salt. I need to add more salt. I need to add more chili flakes. Lagyan ko pa ng konting cheese. Lagay na natin ba? Mahilig po ako sa cheese. Because why not, di ba? There are things that make us happy. And let's go for it. Ayan, para napansin ko, mas madami yung seafood kaysa sa noodles. O, yan. Okay na yan. So now, tikman na natin. Now, my favorite part. Pero munti ko nang malimutan. May dessert pala tayo. So the panna cotta has been sitting inside the fridge for... Mga two hours. Mga two hours. And as you can see, pwede mong tanggalin yan. Normally, para matanggal mo yan is meron kang hot water. Pero mukhang, mukhang matatanggal ko siya ng ganun. Uh, hindi naman siya required tanggalin. Pwede din namang nasa container. No? etong dish na to, ang social-social. Ang simple-simple. Pero ang social. ba diba? Ang social na ang simple, ano bang pinagsasasabi ko? Pero you know, 
ang bataya ng magandang pana ko tapag ka ginalaw-galaw mong ganyan, nagjijiggle. Pero, very stable. Nakakarelate ka, di ba? Kahit galawin ng mga tao, kahit mayugyog, stable pa din. Sana all, di ba? Sana all relationships are like that. It is a result of using very good quality ingredients, particularly cream, and of course, the proper ratio of gelatin. So, the recipe that I'm giving you to tonight, hindi ka bibiguin yan. Pwede mo siyang kainin ng ganito na, or you can put fruits of your choice. So, you can put strawberries, and of course, I'm putting my favorite jolly peaches. And you can also put, kung gusto mo may citrus taste, you can put your jolly mandarin orange. Diba? How nice the colors. O kung gusto mo namang, pwede mong pagsamahin, bakit naman hindi, di ba? So you put your strawberries, you put your peaches. Di ba? So peaches and strawberries. Mm -mm. Pwede ding lagyan mo ng chocolate. Tikman nga natin kung matamis. Mmm. Matamis. And then, kung ipleplate mo, halimbawa, may date. You want to prepare a special dessert. O, oh, diba? Sasabihin mo, this is panakota. Kahit na gumagalaw-galaw siya, kahit na ishake mo, kahit na yugyugin mo, stable pa din. Parang yung samahan lang natin. O, oh, diba? Very stable. Time-tested. And then, lagyan mo pa ng mint leaves. Ilagay mo sa gitna. Because just like the panakota, a relationship will bloom over time. O, diba? Look how nice. Akalain mo bang ni-ref mo lang yan for two, for two hours and the ingredients are very, very simple and pwede mo din lagyan ng mga mint leaves. Nako, medyo nalantan na itong <laughs> palta natin. <laughs> Lantan na yung nailagay ko. Yung put mint leaves like that. O, diba? See? And syempre, before we indulge on the dessert, mag-appetizer muna tayo. This is your baby calamari that you can eat with pwedeng vinegar. Italian style, lagyan mo lang ng lemon juice. You can also eat it with mayonnaise. I like it with mayonnaise. Mm. Ito, bagong prito. You can also have peeled shrimps that you just toss in all-purpose flour as an appetizer. Mm. And of course, I want ko, pero para kasing Italian food, para sa akin, parang hindi siya kumpleto pag walang pasta. So palaging, I, I like, e even in my recipe videos, Ayan, sinasaid ko yung cheese. Mahilig kasi ako sa cheese. Even in my recipe videos, I make sure that at least every month, may pasta dish. Because, you know, pasta is very, it's very elegant, it's very delicious. Ay, sarap. What I like to do is to get a crispy calamari and then eat it with the pasta. Mm. It's so refreshing. And of course, if you don't want spaghetti, you can use other pasta shapes. You pair it with wine. There is really no rule that if you're eating seafood, kailangan white wine, pag steak, kailangan red, no. The only rule that you should follow is kung sang wine ka masaya, yun ang inumin mo. And then of course, the panna cotta. O oh, diba? O oh, si? Ha, oh, dapat pala, iharap ko sa camera. O oh. oh, how? Diba parang ayaw niya humiwalay? 
this is my time-tested panna cotta recipe. This has made me very happy for more than 10 years and I'm sharing it to you. No, sarap. It, it, it is the, one of the most simple desserts that you can prepare. Pero talagang tago sa puso ang sarap ng panna cotta. Mm. Tatanggalin ko na to. It's really, really good. Dessert is very... Ang dami ko sinasabi, no? Kasi talaga masarap siya. And dessert is something that really... It closes the night. It closes the event. So to me, I am a pastry chef by profession. But I learn... I know how to cook. No, I, I cook... I, I cook fine, di ba? Hindi naman ako sobrang galing magluto. But being a pastry chef by profession, to me, dessert is very, very important. Na kahit ba dun sa gabi, yung tipong kahit inuwanan ka ng kadate mo, <laughs> alam mo yun? Yung inuwanan ka ng kadate mo, and ang masaklap dun, inuwanan pati yung bill ng restaurant sa'yo, pag masarap yung dessert na kinain mo, parang lahat ng lungkot, alam mo yon lahat ng lungkot nawawala. Ewan ko ha, ako kasi mabawaw ang kaligayahan ko. But for this, paano ko ta? It's really, really so good. Mm. And it's so good that I'm going to finish it. Yung parang feeling ko pag kinasal ako, which is hindi naman mangyayari. Char! Ito yung gusto kong dessert. Pero hindi ako gagawa, no? Siguro isa sa inyo, kaya nga tinuro ko sa inyo. <laughs> diba? O, oh, ayan, inubos ko siya. Kasi masarap talaga. So, see you in Italy soon! Cheers and take care!